In this video, we're going to demonstrate some of the new features that are included with Deduce 10. When you update to Deduce 10, the first thing you'll notice is you get to choose from a different UI theme. You'll most likely land on this Deduce branded version. If you want to change your UI theme, there is a app settings icon in the upper right corner, that little sliders icon. Click on that and this is going to pull up your app settings window where you can control font size. So this is a global font size adjustment. Just make sure that override document font size, make sure that that box is checked. And then just below that, you'll see the theme selector. So you can choose from deduce classic, dark mode, and then also high contrast mode. I'm an old school deducer, so I'm going to choose deduce classic here for the rest of this video. The next thing you'll notice, if you navigate to the codes, media, or excerpts workspace, you're going to see new vertical navigation options to the left. These connect, these connect you to new features such as text analytics and the auto code wizard, but it also connects you to key charts around that to do element. So here we're in our code book. You'll see the new code book view. You have better visibility of your codes, your code descriptions, any new codes created after you update to Deduce 10 will include the code creator as well and the date the code was created. Just like before, you can click on the excerpt count to pull up your excerpts that were coded with that code. From here, you can, of course, continue coding if you would like. You'll also notice some key settings are now in the top header for you. So your code book order, right now I have it on a, a custom order, but you could do alphabetical, you could go by creator, and you can also sort by excerpt count. To the right of that, you'll see the excerpt count number. Right now it's set to explicit code count, so this means it's giving me the raw individual number of how many times I used each individual code. You can switch this to child sum code count if you want any top level codes to be adding up sub or child codes beneath it. So in this instance, this top level code of survey questions has 821 excerpts when I have child sum code count on because it's adding up all of these sub codes beneath it. So I'm gonna switch this back to explicit code count for this project. Your color scheme, you can choose from the custom color scheme if you're doing custom color coding. But your default color scheme is now going to include these uh, standard deduce brand colors here. Your expand collapse button will quickly collapse all of your codes or expand them so that you can see your subcodes and child codes. The auto upcode feature is now more prominently displayed and also has some user education around it because it is such a really a dangerous feature for your analysis if you're if you're unsure of how to use it. So if you tried to turn this on, you'll now see a little warning pop up that's going to direct you to a learning center guide about that feature. If you choose yes to continue, when you visit your code book, you'll see that that red button is now alerting you that auto upcode is on. Also, when you're coding a document, you'll notice that there is a little warning for you at the top of your code book that automatic upcode is on. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. You'll also notice there are some newly designed buttons along the bottom that's connecting you to key features as well. So you have your add code button in the bottom left. This brings up the new code window where you can insert the title and a description. And you'll notice the, the code creator and code date also comes along with it there. You can also add a new code by clicking the addition icon in the upper right. It brings you back to that same add code window. And you can also import codes from an Excel spreadsheet. There is a template in the Learning Center that you can get started with if you're unsure of how to format that Excel spreadsheet. And you can also export your codebook. Exporting your codebook will now 
bring along the excerpt counts with it. If you select one of your codes, you'll also notice that you have an add child code button here. So if you wanted to add a new code and have it be a child code of community of practice, you can hit that add child code button. And hit submit here. Next up, we have your reorder codes button. So if you want to do that custom order in your code book, you can come here to reorder them. These buttons here push the code all the way to the top or all the way to the bottom, depending on your preference, or you can move them just one instance at a time. The retroactive upcode feature has been renamed the upcode wizard. When you click on the upcode wizard, again, more user education around this feature because it does drastically change your project. We always recommend creating a copy of the project before you do any of these mass actions. There's also some additional mass merging and mass make group features that you can now take advantage of. So if you want to merge more than two codes together, you can just select them via the checkbox on the left. And then you'll see that merge button becomes active and same thing with the make root and delete button as well. So you can do mass merging of codes You'll choose what the primary code is. This code will remain in your code book. All others will be merged into the primary. You can also mass make root to bring all of these codes to the top level. And of course, you can also mass delete your codes as well. And one last note here on your settings area here on the top, you can select that columns button to choose what metadata you're viewing in this database. So if you're not concerned with viewing memo counts or code weights, maybe you're not using code weighting, you can unselect those. And then you can have more room for your code descriptions or maybe you wanna focus on code creators. You can do that and you can also click and drag these columns to get a better view of your, your code descriptions as well. If you ever want to edit a code on a singular level or go back to using you know, those standard features around merging just two codes or reparenting one code, you can always click into the code to pull up that edit code window. You can include a description and you'll also see new design here. You can make this individual code a root, you can reparent it, merge it, delete it, etc.